All right, here's me here. It's a uh, mid-December day in, uh, in San Jose, and uh, I'm going to do some work on the Black Widow Galant VR4 here. So uh, what I got going on today is uh, I've been trying to trying to get something done that I've been neglecting to do for a long time. <laughs> um, so if you remember correctly, uh, when I put this car back together, um, after breaking the timing belt and everything, I put a, a small 16G turbo on this car, and uh, and it's a, uh, what is it, a, uh, it was a, uh, well yeah, the small 16G turbo flows more air than a 14B, you know, so uh, to prevent, um, from running out of fuel, uh, the the least I should do is upgrade the fuel pump, and so here it is. So this is the fuel pump right here. This is a um, this is a Walbro 190, a Wally 190. At least I think it is. I should look up these part numbers. But uh, this is the Walbro 190. I bought it on eBay, I think. Uh, previously, I had bought like an Evo, like an Evo 9 fuel pump, and then like the the neck thing broke off when it was delivered, so I so, yeah, forget it. I just bought a Walbro. Good old Wally, right? And then uh, I bought a Walbro install kit right here, so all this stuff is going to go on. Most of it anyways. Um, so yeah, this is not totally compatible with uh, the Mitsubishi fuel pump, so so let's hop to it. So first got to kind of have to clear the trunk a bit. I'm going to have to get some of this stuff out of here. I have to clean up the trunk a little bit because this tree has been raining down uh, leaves and and spores and seeds and stuff all over the place. So underneath here, I got to get all this stuff out of here. Like so, so this is like all the part the install parts I've had um, in the car ever since I, you know for, that I've been planning to do for mods and stuff and the and it's a it's. It's come, become smaller significantly, so that's a good thing. That means I'm almost done working on this car. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, so this is actually a muffler that I, I don't know if I'm going to install or not. But uh, let's see, I just kind of just leave it there. It really doesn't weigh too much. Um, so right under here, under the floor mat here. Okay, so it's stuck. This uh, this material here, but uh, under this cover here is the fuel pump. So looks like it's two Phillips head screws got to come out. So let's go and do that. Um, hmm. Oh, good, I do have a pump in there. Good thing. Oh, good, it's a five lug too. <laughs> That's also another thing I've been wondering is uh, lately is uh, do I have the proper spare for this car? I think a uh, this might be the spare tire from like an Eclipse or something because uh, because the Galant is normally a four lug, but that so you can see uh, the previous owner uh, did it right and hey, he got a, a spare tire from an Eclipse or something, something that has four five lugs on it. Um, hopefully, oh, you know what I realized? That may not fit my uh, my brake rotors anymore. Mm. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna have to take that out and see if it fits over the the Outlander calipers. It's only slightly bigger. So what I'm gonna do, I think, I'll take this box out here and I'm gonna put it underneath the mat. So I've got some kind of room to work with. Maybe I'll roll the mat back a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. It's all cracking and everything. Old cars man, old cars. Fairly, at least it's a nice shape under under the mat and everything too. Sometimes you'll find rust and a bunch of weird stuff in here. All right, so I need a tool tray here. Actually, I'll just this one. Okay. Driver. I've actually inspected this before and it looked pretty good underneath. Sometimes, like I said, you'll find rust and stuff. So what this is, does is give you access to the fuel tank um, where the fuel pump is. Um, if you've ever done, uh, if you've ever changed or worked on the fuel pump on a on a 2G Eclipse, it's a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> you got to take the seat out and you got to work inside the car. Yeah, this is so much nicer. <laughs> That's it. Boom. And then, uh, 
And then you gotta disconnect this guy, I guess. Oh, oh the whole thing comes out. Alright, so it gives us access to that. I may want to clean that up a little bit, the area. But um, for now, for now we want to disconnect this. I don't know how to disconnect it. This has to come out somehow. I'll work at it. Okay, I figure it out. There's a, uh, I know there's a, there's like a little clip hiding underneath. Pull up on it. it comes out. Boom. And then, uh, take this out. Get that out of the way. It's wet. It's like WD-40 or something. Oh no, it's like water or something. That's kind of weird. Alright. And then... To push... I'm going to try to take the whole hanger out so you can work on it. Um, you got to push this out of the... Um, this little grommet out so we can get this wire out. Okay, so I just kind of just squeezed it and I pressed it in and it came out. It very like, spectacularly slipped on me. And there it is. So we get access to that. Um, so my, wait, oh Jesus. Look at, you know, that's why I call this the Black Widow Galant Bear 4. There's a lot of spider webs, spider stuff all over the place. So I'm just going to go get some gloves and clean up all those spider webs everywhere. And then uh, maybe I'll, I'll get the um, I'll get the um, my air tank and I'll blow out some of the dust. All right. All right. So while I'm kind of cleaning up that area, I'm gonna go spray some spray some PB blaster over the fuel line right here. Right here. What is this thing? I guess this has got to come out too. There's a lot of shit in the way, man. God, that's a gushy. Make this easier. Okay, so that's out of the way. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll just have to unplug one of these too. So I'll do that later. Um, so I'm gonna try to kind of clean up this fuel line a bit. A little, a little nasty looking spider webs everywhere. Ugh, wow, Jesus. Look at that. Some pretty collies living under there. Alright, so, uh, kind of get all the spider webs out around the line. I'm gonna, I heard this is kind of hard to get out, so, uh, if it's been that way for a while, so I'm gonna spray it with some old PB blaster. Um, I think these little 8 mils might be okay, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to go continue to clean up all these spider webs and stuff, and I'm going to spray with my, my air tank here, get the dust out. So, so like a lot of dirt won't, won't fall into the gas tank. So uh, it's fairly clean now. Some spider webs still here and there, but uh, I took that little vacuum line dealie out. I think this is like a check valve of some sort. I guess it goes to this um, ZBAP canister or something. Let's get that out of the way for now. And then uh, we're ready to take it out. Um, so I guess before we unbolt the whole thing, let's try to take this fuel line out because it's. Uh, it has some support, you know. It's, yeah, that's not a, lot of room, not a lot of room to work with there. Alright, so to do that, we're going to use a, uh, we're going to use a, uh, what's it called, a flare nut wrench, so we don't, um, so we don't mess the line up. I don't know what size it is, it's not a 14. Okay, so the two lines, uh, the two sizes for the fuel line are, uh, uh, 19 mil and a 14 millimeter 
So, uh, and unfortunately I don't have a 19mm on the flare nut, so I'm just going to have to use a good old open end. So hopefully I can crack that open. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> okay, I got it loose. Not too much drama. fuel spray. The car hasn't been driven in a while. So. Boom. There it goes. Alright. So now, let's back out of the way. And now we just uh, focus on these eight, um, these eight millimeters. Hopefully, hopefully these won't get any problems either. So I'll get the uh, handy dandy. Oh yeah, you know what? I, I have a better tool for that. There, I, I, I didn't know there was going to be this much space to work on it. This is actually pretty nice, like I said. Alright, so yeah, I'm telling you, right now man, my back is killing me. Uh, I just had a birthday and uh, this just just reminds me of how uh, I'm getting old. <laughs> Too old to do this stuff anymore. Anyway, so here I got this 8mm uh, T-wrench. This looks like it'll be perfect. I didn't think there was going to be enough room to stick it in there, but there is plenty of room. Now hopefully... We won't have to use the PB blaster on this. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, it's actually quite easy. Yeah, that's a kick. Uh, that would suck if you broke one of those studs, you know? Like, oh, maybe breaking one is a, won't be too bad, but. Alright. The nice thing with this is you can break stuff loose. And it works as kind of like a speed handle at the same time. The threads are pretty dirty though. It seems to be binding a little bit. Get all the nuts off. It should just come right off now. It should just come right off now. <laughs> there we go. Yes, it's got a pretty good seal on it. It was like was on and stick to it and tear it or anything. There it is. There's the fuel pump assembly. Kind of, I could see some metal flakes in there from uh, when I was working on the gas tank. That's not good. Let's go put a new strainer on that. It's quite a challenge to try to get that little floater out of there. Let's we'll just get two hands on that thing. Alright, there it is. It's free. Oh, it's free. It's spilling fuel all over the place. Bad for the environment, but whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the ground here real quick. Get the other way. All right, there you go. There's your 1G or go on your 4 fuel assembly. Actually, the, I think the eclipses are different. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put a rag over that. And I'll go take this over to our garage and over to the before I throw the rag over that. Um, let me just take a look inside the gas tank real quick. It's in very good shape. That's a good thing. 
Well, I don't see any evidence of rust. At least from what we can see. I should probably just get a flashlight and flash it around in there. Actually, let's do that. Look in there, buddy. This is the nice thing about a camera, I can stick it in there. And I'll stick my head in there. Well, yeah, it looks good. Good shape. Well, there's a little baffle there, too. That looks like a baffle of some sort. Cool. Yeah, it looks good. So, that's a good little maintenance thing to inspect that. Um, yeah. So, let's go. I'm just going to put this rag over there. Some of the dirt gets in there. I'll just, just put this cover back on. Alright. Now let's go take this thing over to the garage. Here's my uh, but anyway, yeah, so here's a little closer look at the fuel pump assembly. Um it's the fuel pump right here. And then this is the, the thing it connects to. It just kind of just you just kind of just it's a quick connect dealy it's a little flared section that you press up into there and it seals it and then um, yeah and then this is a floater here this tells you the fuel level um, when it goes up that means you get more fuel um, and I don't know what this is this does something it's got a wire going to it maybe that's a low fuel level indicator or something I don't know um, so yeah let's get this over to the, to the garage